Um, I have a quick announcement. I have a quick announcement, and the announcement is um, from next week, from Monday to Friday. Uh, God is leading me to tell those who are going. God is leading me to admonish people to join in for a marathon fast from Monday to Friday. Um, as you know, as we are ending the year, um, it is very easy to end being weaker and weaker. But the Bible makes us to understand that the household of um, David grew stronger and stronger while the household of Saul grew weaker and weaker. And Saul was the arch enemy to David. Saul's agenda was to stop the destiny of David from manifesting. And as we read the Bible, they say, the Bible says that in the household of Saul, the enemy of David grew weaker and weaker as the household of David grew stronger and stronger. Um, if you don't take care, by the time you end this week or end this year, you realize that the devil will try to keep you exhausted, tired and weak so as to overpower you and um, take you by surprise. But God wants me and you to finish the year in strength. And so uh, every Tuesday and Friday we fast and wait upon the Lord to help us to renew our strength. But from Monday, which is marking the beginning of the month of October, from Monday to Friday, um, there will be a marathon fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and we'll be meet. Um, you will be fasting and waiting upon the Lord. Um, the Bible says that those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. So it is not by force, but it is by choice. If you really need God to really um, visit you and intervene in your life and you know that the year is coming to an end and there are some things you ought to do which you haven't done which hasn't been is not being manifested then i will encourage i will encourage you um, to join us in this marathon fasting from monday to friday 6 a.m to 6 p.m um, and we'll be praying no i wish i, I could um, open up the phone so um so that in the evenings we could be um, doing a chain of prayers but I'll check with my wife and um, to see if she'll be around for me to do this. But even if we are unable to meet, even if you are fasting and you are constantly praying from Monday to Friday and believing God to come through for you, God will definitely visit you. God will definitely visit you. And this is crucial for especially those of you who are believing God to have a job and the job hasn't come through yet. Um, this. Uh, this time is dedicated for such people that the Lord will intervene and change your story. From next week to I realize that a lot of people have court cases. Um, during this marathon fasting, we can, as we wait upon the Lord and you cry out to God, I believe that you will definitely intervene. And it is also setting the pace for you to finish the month well, that God will definitely visit you on the month of October and let His purpose come to pass in your life. So on Monday, uh, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And as I say, if you can't do 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., you can do 6 a.m. to 12 noon or 6 a.m. to 3 or 2 um, p.m., whatever you are able to do. But you can join us in the marathon fast the whole of the first week. We are dedicating the first week of the month of October to fasting and waiting upon the Lord because the Bible says that those who wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength they shall renew their strength they shall mount up on eagles wings they shall run and never be worried they shall walk and they shall not faint and so as we give ourselves to this marathon fasting um, I tell you the truth um, you will be spiritually edified and nourished and um, strengthened because um, we want to finish the year stronger than our enemies. We want to finish the year um, fulfilling purpose and destiny. We want to finish the year on top of situation. Usually by the time we enter into October, November, December, people are growing weaker and weaker while the enemy is growing stronger and stronger because um, October, November, December is the deadline for a lot of demons and witches to begin to finish up and destroy and sabotage 
um, the destinies of many. So they don't play around these times. So uh, we also have to increase our um, strength and uh, be able to wait upon the Lord for the Lord to strengthen us so that we can defeat the plans and the purposes of the enemy. So uh, it is not by force, but it is by choice. And usually when I tell people it is not by force, it is by choice, I am trying to um, say something indirectly to them. But if you join this thing, I believe, I know, I know for certain, this is something God laid upon my heart to share with those who will listen. I tell you the truth, it will help you. After this, I'll share a testimony with you and I'll let you know why this is very important. So I'm encouraging everybody on the phone line to join us on a marathon fasting starting from Monday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. We'll be fasting and we'll be praying and our theme is that um, the Bible says that those who wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength they shall mount up on wings like ego they shall run and not worry so we are believing God that he will strengthen us he will, he will energize us he will um, nourish us he will give us the grace to be able to finish the year and also we will start on Mark chapter 11 verse 24 which says that therefore I say unto you whatever things you ask when you pray believe that you receive them and you will have them that whatever is in your heart and you are believing God for the month of October, it will definitely come to you. And if you are still experiencing joblessness, I tell you the truth, um, next October, that, that resistance has to be broken. And there are some of you believing God for uh, a turnaround in your life. As we wait upon the Lord, if you fast and seek His face, I tell you the truth, God will come through and um, come through for you supernaturally so i encourage everybody as much as you can to join us on the marathon fasting and i tell you the truth god will richly um, bless you god will richly bless you so um this is the uh, uh um, news i have for you and i'm going to also tell you a testimony and uh it will help us to begin to um tonight fasting and um next month october to our team for the month is let my people go let my people go and it is a warfare cry and it is a deliverance session whereby we are telling any forces of darkness which are still sitting on the destinies of people which are still hindering the destinies of people to lose them and let them go let my people go that was the word of god concerning the children of israel um moses was told to tell pharaoh let my people go and in the month of october we are addressing and we are confronting the forces of darkness that anything they are holding hostage anything they are holding captive anything they have hijacked we are commanding and demanding them that they should release them and they should let them go and as you can if you have read genesis or you have watched them uh, the film moses you realize that according to the scriptures Pharaoh was not willing to allow the children of Israel go. It took God to violently come upon them with all his wrath. So October, I tell you the truth, October is a warfare prayer throughout. So it is very, it's going to be very hot on this prayer line. The temperature of our prayers are going to go to the next level. So if you feel you are not comfortable with those kind of prayers, then you can excuse us because some people's destiny needs to be released and there are some forces of darkness which have resolved not to let them go and as pharaoh said i'll not let you go he took the anger the judgment the vengeance and he took the wrath of god to visit egypt until pharaoh uh, finally it even cost him his firstborn before pharaoh finally released the israelites and some of us, until we really release the judgment of God into our enemies' camp, when I talk about enemies, I am talking about principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places, thrones, dominions, household witchcraft, household um, ancestral spirit, uh, monitoring spirit, uh, monitoring devices that has been placed in your life to destroy your destiny, generational curses which are speaking into your destiny which is causing you ne never to break through and are speaking that you will never break through and have never have your deliverance and you will never break through these are the forces we are coming up after we are not dealing with even human beings so when we talk about enemies we are not dealing with human beings we are dealing with the powers that be and these powers you have to release the judgment 
the wrath, the vengeance, the anger of God into their territory before they can release some of you, your destiny to go. So on October, um, the temperature on this prayer line is going to be different. I encourage you to also um, invite our friends and loved ones to join us. And if you are willing to be delivered, then join us and God will certainly come through for you. If you just join us from... Um, Monday we are doing a marathon fasting. Uh, we are not playing. We are not playing. I I'm not a joker. Uh, we are not playing on this prayer line. From Monday we are doing um, to Friday we are doing a marathon fasting, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or whatever hours you can do. Join us and God will richly bless you. Isaiah, uh, I think chapter 50 or so says that those who wait upon the Lord they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on eagles' wings. And we are also going to stand on Mark chapter 11, verse 24. I'll give you um, the scriptures before we end. And I tell you the truth, if you can connect, God will certainly come through for you. And if you are having joblessness or you need restoration or whatever you are believing God for, He will certainly come through for you by the end of the month. And your destiny will never be the same as we enter into this um, find, uh, the month of October. You, you ought to possess your possession.